In this video, we're going to talk about a very interesting topic that is suicide the removal of benign skin lesions, moles, uh, some plasma, <coughs> and any uh, seborrheic keratosis, any benign skin lesion that is removed for aesthetic reasons. One of the main questions that uh, we receive from uh, from other sides of, uh, of our business is uh, whether our products uh, will leave scars and whatnot. What we say is uh, that there's no method that can guarantee uh, the removal of benign skin lesions in general uh, without leaving a trace. Uh, however, what we have done, especially with the use of uh, Voltaic Plasma and the, in the, in the at Beauty Tech, we have collected a number of uh, case studies. We've published three so far. We may go to publish more. Uh, we have material for publishing more. It's just the time that it takes. But uh, what we show you is that uh, we have been able to accomplish scar-free results and seamless results. And this is what uh, you can expect most of the times. However, especially if you carry out the procedure correctly and uh, the, the person takes care of, uh, of the treated area correctly as well. However, there's no 100% guarantee that no matter what device you use, uh, the technique you use, uh, whether it's a laser, electrical arcing, big brands, small brands, that uh, you're going to be able to remove uh, the mole uh, without leaving uh, a scar. And this is because uh, when we remove uh, benign skin lesions, there's a number of factors to take into account. As I say, not only how the benign skin lesion has been removed, but also the aftercare, uh, the particularly, uh, particularly also the ability of the individual to recover uh, from uh, uh, that more removal procedure, as I say, the healing, uh, the individual's healing abilities. And also some individuals are more prone to developing scars than others and you cannot control that, as then there's uh, individuals who have the tendency of developing keloids, and this is another uh, factor that you cannot control. But we're just gonna show you very briefly a, a few pictures from, uh, from our, our website, uh, the, uh, the online training platform, voltaicplasma.com. This is uh, a uh, picture from uh, a case study that you can find in here, uh, scalp mole removal case study. We'll keep the, if we can, the permalink the same. Um, however, the um, the way the, the website is going to be structured later on can change. And if you want to watch the entire video of the proce uh, procedure, as well as the, the healing progression, we have uh, edited uh, a video showing you the before, uh, how we've performed the, the treatment, the removal treatment uh, in detail uh, with comments as well and the, the after and it's absolutely great the results. Then we've got this other one, uh, these are the results after uh, over two years is uh, the um, removal of uh, another uh, benign skin lesion and again you can see the before after and how we've uh, performed uh, the treatment and this case is uh, quite interesting as well because you, you'll be able to see not only the before uh, in between during uh, the healing process but uh, also 10 weeks after and you'll see that uh, the results are uh, seamless as you say you're not able to see whether where the mole is uh, was previously located and that's the, the relevant video which will show you that so we show you that um, it is indeed possible to to achieve um, these types of results but what we would like to, to emphasize is that it is there's no guarantee and uh, we also mentioned this in, in a number of uh, videos uh, some people um, and businesses advertise scar free results in our minds uh, this is not a good idea because there's a number of factors that can influence how um, the, um, the final results are going to, to be in 10, 12 weeks times uh, and, uh, and a year. So uh, we recommend that you put the right information on the content forms and uh, you don't make any promises, uh, especially within your business of scar-free results. Um, 
because what you'll find as well, if you just tell the truth is to say, uh, there's always going to be the likelihood of a mark or something after the procedure. Um, if people are usually happier with that slight mark or slight scar, it's very rare that uh, that happens than the mole itself. So we hope uh, you found this video useful. For more videos like this, just uh, give us a call, send us a WhatsApp message, send us an email with a particular question, and if we haven't made the, that particular information available, we'll be happy to, to make it available uh, online later on. So thank you very much for watching.